You know, you talked a little bit about um, uh, being in the Midwest and not having the same swings as they, they do on the coast. And so the um, um, the downturn isn't as severe here as, as what they're experiencing uh, other places. Um, do you suppose that they're, um, because of that, because this is a very, uh, my impression, very pragmatic community, that there are more savers, sure. perhaps, than what it we have to, credit for. I've never saw figures, but I'm um, sure it's true. That, that that will mean that the rebound is quicker here also because people, there are more savers? I, I don't know. I think they'd have to. Yeah. I mean, maybe your double the down payment person is, is uh, uh, the mirrored there. by a, a lot of other folks that um, just don't show that they have it. Well, when you think about that, how that all evolved to start with when they started doing that no down payment and everything, how did that start? Do you think it happened in these little towns like this? Mm -hmm. No. It started in the metro, and then it bled back this way. Mm -hmm. So, yes, why wouldn't it make sense to turn back the other way the same way? You know, really, that's the way the people kind of are anyway. It's just when a uh, competition, you know, made the, uh, the car dealer, or car, the uh, financial arms to go 72 months, and, less down payment and all that. I, it, it didn't start in towns like this. It started somewhere else. You're right, because we are basically, our group of our, our customers are different. But still they're exhibited when, they're, when you go to the city or something, you're going to, you would be exposed to that. That's not true now, but I mean, years past. I think some of it may be that the consumers are, are uh, getting smarter about making car purchases. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I know one of the things we've done is we've um, done a, a lot of work on our website to educate the customer, not just with buying a car, but as far as the uh, product information, but with finance information. And whether it's on a dealership website or just on the website in general, you can find almost anything anywhere Wait, out there. And so if if a consumer figures out that, gosh, I just went and I tried to trade in my car and I owe a lot more than what it's worth, and somebody has educated them, whether it's through a website or through a one-on-one, -on -one, that, gosh, I should have put more money down, I should have paid sales tax, I should have done this, and they start thinking about, well, gosh, if I do use a down payment, then I've started, sure. you know, when it, it's like an investment almost, because now when I go to trade again, I'm not going to owe seven thousand dollars more than what what um, it's true my loan is and I, I think that the education has spread out into the financial portion also a little bit. so that could be a silver lining for consumers that they've actually figured if that you, out if you deal <laughs> locally it is you're not going to be told that in the city well yeah. no, no, I, mean, I mean if they figured that out you know like you said via a website or whatever yeah. well, um, yeah. that they okay now i understand I think any time that you can educate the consumer, and especially about financial issues, I mean, I think it makes good for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it may make it may make a downturn for a short term, but once they understand and they respond to it, I think then you'll see a positive come out of it. Well, yeah, we're dealing with the basic things and money availability is what it was thirty years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's almost a if you look at the sheets and what they require, it's exactly what was there before. It's nothing new. But it's new for a lot of people because they've never cycled through anything like you know, the parameters they've gone. There was literally people coming in that, to, the, to the dealership and didn't think there was money there. Oh, I, I think that's true. And there wasn't for them a lot of them. There isn't money for everybody. But there is lots of money. In other words, it's used the wrong term. There's money there. But you got to have the, the parameters to, to be able to, and the, which makes sense the way it should have always been. Mm -hmm. But that's not necessarily negative. Mm -hmm. For the average customer, the average credit person, there is money. That's right. There you go. Okay. Very good. And there's good terms with that money mm -hmm. that's being available. That's the positive. There's a silver lining.